we all used to see those animated videos, the animated lectures that lure us in into the studies. Remember when you try to understand surface tension, how the mosquito dances on the surface of the water, people understand these concepts very easily when the things are visualized. Now earlier days what we had is only pen and paper, you know to write everything, chalk, those messy chalk scenarios. Now we upgraded uh, to whiteboard and markers. But that is also a past tense. Now what we have is equivalent to bigger size smart screen. And what you see here is it not just any kind of a smart screen. It is a very particular category of the smart screen and it is developed by TeachMint. It is called as the TeachMint X. This video is all about talking about this magnificent device for the educators irrespective of whether you're teaching school, colleges, universities, or you're conducting research or you're conducting seminars in a corporate sector. Believe me, I tried and tested this device and this device uh, is spellbound, right? I get spellbound with this device. The, the features that the device has to offer is beyond what is required at this present times and this device is currently is way ahead of his time in order to explain and provide us that extra edge over explaining topic, simplifying them for our students and the generations to come. So now some of you may know and familiar with this category of flat screen devices and may have used them. But this device is not just any category of device. This is something new. This is India's, no, world's first AI power driven flat panel for the teachers, for the educators across the globe. Now what I mean to say about the first AI panel based because is that this is packed with a very good hardware as well as with equivalent good quality softwares. Now come to the hardware point. This is a flat panel. As you can see, this is 75 inches flat panel. And this flat panel is not just any category of panel or a TV screen, no. Because this panel has a very tough glass, four millimeter thick tough glass on the surface, which is very durable and sturdy. Even in your uh, coaching centers or colleges or universities, there are things happening in the class and beyond the time when the teacher is not there in the class, students are trying to uh, do all this naughty stuffs in the class, it's not going to damage this panel for sure. Not only damaging and nothing will happen to, to this, it's going to open up obviously the application uh, because of the sensitivity of the touch, but ultimately this panel is so much durable. And what else it has is that it has this great quality of the camera, which is a, a 4K quality recording capability. And it also has four and four total eight omnidirectional microphone to record the audio. So if you're a teacher and you want to record not only your class, but also the expression of your students, you can do that with the help of this camera, as well as this eight omnidirectional microphones, so that you can provide that recorded version of the lectures to the students. And not only that, but also you can conduct classes in three separate mode. You can conduct classes in the offline mode using this default teach pad application that they have, uh, which I'll explain in a moment, as well as you can conduct the class on online mode via this utilization of camera and microphone devices, or the third category of mode, the hybrid mode, where you have the online as well as offline uh, mode of explaining topics to your students. So here in this particular video, I'm going to take you through one by one step and one by one processes of this of this uh, device as a hardware as well as software. And regarding uh, the hardware part, some more part is there because if this is the device uh, to provide better quality explanation to the students, we need to also utilize videos. We will play videos in there. Yes, it plays videos like a charm because it also is equipped with 8 GB RAM and 128 GB internal storage. This device is equipped with uh, 20 watt audio speakers in both the sides giving it total 40 watt of sound output which is going to uh, provide enough sound to fill a big hall when you play a video from YouTube or any other place to show to your student or 
the other aspirants and candidates. So for the software point of view, this comes with uh, is preloaded with Android 13 and Android 13 you can simply click this arrow and you can see this one and you can uh, you can swipe you can see all the different application you have file manager basically the interface that you get in your mobile device is there and as this is Android and not a stock Android it's Android 13 you can get inside the Google Play Store and this is not just any category of TV Play Store. No, this is an unlocked version of Play Store where you can search things. For example, we can search a uh, different application here. We can search different application. For example, let's let's uh, see some application which is uh, really software and hardware intensive. One such software is Google Earth. You know, even good quality computers struggle to show us the detailed view in the Google Earth. So we'll see something. We'll open this Google Earth and you can see what is inside and here you can clearly see that i i searched earlier different places you can search any place so, uh, let's, so say let's say india gate if we if we search india gate and it's going to open up and i'm just going to share this with you to to give you an idea about this so it's going to see how fast it is the software is very well tuned with the hardware and it is really really fast and you can see this is india gate this is the 3D view of the India Gate, and what we can simply do is this: we can we can always see and zoom in. Now it depends on your internet connection how how clear the image is, but you can see the 3D as well as 2D image. Of the India Gate. Use case, but inside of which you have multiple things. Uh, you have all the others: your email, you have Google Meet, you have the TeachMint application, you have all these things inside, which is going to be very much helpful for you to not only study but also uh, to plan the study to share the study and also to conclude uh, lectures and provide it to your students and uh, let's take the white color and write something uh, write say hi i am shomu and today i'm going to talk about let's say we are going to discuss about uh, the cell okay and when we talk about we can draw the cell right we can draw it and not only you can draw but we can also change the color let's say we want to draw something in, in yellow color so we can do that right we can change the colors and uh, all these things we can we can do right color change and this is very important the most important point from a teacher's point of view earlier while they're shifting from the conventional board to this category of smart board is they complain about the, the pen because I know this I am experienced over 12 years in this field so I know when you use this pen there are thicker pens in the market which is a pain instead this is a three point pen so this point is very easy this pen is very easy to hold and to write and the great thing about this pen is that there is no lag there is no lag that I feel basically I can I can show you why there is no lag if you can write this in your board you can see whenever I'm I'm moving my pen, I'm seeing the lines coming in. There is no lag, and that is a really a uh, very great feature of TeachMint X panel. Because if there is delay, if I'm I'm writing this, it, it comes fragmented, then there is no point of using this, right? There is no point of switching. But here there is no lag. You can you can whatever thing if you want, you can see there is no lag. So this is a good thing about this no lag feature in this default and it don't bother about how much you're hitting here because it's not going to damage the screen it's not going to get any scratches in the screen you don't need to bother about it now there is this device called uh, you know uh, eraser you can erase whatever you write page and okay explain this and also so anything regarding so this i can draw this this and also 3d structures so very easy you can draw them with a blink of a second and get back to the normal explanation part and explain this okay and explain the length let's say 16 centimeters uh, let's say 12 centimeters so we can we can write things like this okay and if you want to drag it again we use that feature to to drag it out to any place in the board so these are the common and features the, the common this is basically google that comes in and here you can search anything let's say search let me let me search uh, mitochondria here mitochondria diagram we search and google image will open up so you can drag oh it in and you can see that uh, the image is visible here after dragging it in 
and you can add it you can add uh, mind map you can add flow chart you can add uh, any kind of image and video and the good thing here about uh, is that you can upload the video that you already have in this internal device or the external device in the pen drive and regarding the pen drive i should mention here is that there are two usb ports and one type c port in the front and also in the back you have plenty of options regarding the plugging in of the usb as well as you have a connection connectivity with your laptop and other devices with the help of the hdmi so that connectivity issue is also taken care of uh, in this particular uh, flat panel by the teach mint called teach mint so uh, just and, get uh, out of it uh, and if we get other simulation regarding you can see density is out there gene expression uh, and analysis is there molecular biology is there so for different study okay and they can keep on increasing this library for simulations which will help your student to build a very concrete concept for that study and that is one of the very very exciting feature here in teachment uh, and another one is this edu ai now this is AI based platform. Remember this AI buzz, everybody is talking about chat GPT and all. Now they have incorporated it inside this TeachMint application via TeachMint X flat panel. You can access that. And how to do it? Basically you can see, you can search and type it in many things. You can type it in, uh, let's say photosynthesis. I'll write it. Photosynthesis. And... Uh, if I search photosynthesis, it's going to show me images regarding photosynthesis, videos regarding photosynthesis and explanations regarding photosynthesis. Now, this device is sm so smart is that even a teacher who is not that smart can be equipped with this device and can become that much smart to explain the topic. So you can simply drag images to the board or you can show video related to photosynthesis. All the videos from YouTube regarding photosynthesis are visible in here. And if you play a video, it's not going to uh, provide you any ad in the beginning. Okay, it's without that. So without that it will be played because it has an integration with the YouTube. So they will not show any ad so ad free video you can see animations you can all play them here and you can also show them in the big screen mode like this if i play it it's going to play okay so i made my point so there's an arrow to get back you can get back to the point and you can ask them what is photosynthesis it's going to give you the explanation to that all the suggested keywords not likely like you don't need to do the hard work the software is doing everything it is providing you the questions you just ask question keep on asking questions what are the ingredients uh, needed for the photosynthesis again the explanation will be there the images will be there and the videos will be there click on explanation and it's going to give you the explanation for that okay so see this is the explanation that they provided the question was what are the ingredients needed for photosynthesis and they gave you the explanation sunlight carbon dioxide water right now so if i ask form of mcq question from photosynthesis you can see that it already form a question for me. Which of the following is not a product of photosynthesis? Four options are given. A. Glucose, B. Oxygen, C. Carbon Dioxide, D. Water. Not only it give me a question, but also gave me answer explanation. The answer is C. Carbon Dioxide. Photosynthesis uses carbon dioxide as a reactant, not as a product. So this category of explanations you can find. You can find videos, you can find images and you can prepare your own lesson with it you can note down this basically you can write down the lesson here itself and you can save it for the future use for example, and here in this side in the right hand side in the app desk what you have you have attendance you have people you have study material so as a teacher you can load study materials there you can give them homeworks as well as you can schedule tests in there the reports are available and the attendance part basically is really important that these days you don't need to carry those huge thick books for keeping attendance you can do that here inside and you can see all the classes that are scheduled in here you see that in this class the timing is 11 a.m to 11 45 a.m and it says the absent 22 and the present only one and basically you click the view details and you can see present who is present and who are absent all the all the 22 candidates absent are visible here. so let's you say if i mark these four people as present and uh, we save it it's going to uh, change so you see it's not changed because they're offline already if they're present online they are going to be visible okay at this moment so you can just simply 
click here and you can click save so two of them are added and save now it will be changed you see so now three present and 20 absent so the same thing happens for every single students out there you just check their name and if you want to add them you can add them you can make them present or you can make them absent depending upon their presence what in the class that this particular cool. device that is teach mint x flat panel also can be equipped with ops device and you don't need to just plug it exactly from outside but there is a slot in the back where it fits in and if you fit the OPS device you can have two operating system running one is the inbuilt Android 13 another one is this OPS which can be customized with uh, i5 i3 and also that OPS device where you can install Windows so you can turn the Windows operating system on and this OPS device has 80 pin euro system so provide you a better experience of uh, buffering and also if you select with the two fingers this menu comes in and if you click the OPS it's going to open up the OPS you can see the display size is 60 Hertz as a refresh rate and this is the OPS screen and this is the windows you can see this is the windows system that you got so basically so the feature regarding the OPS is that you can convert this TeachMint X into a windows operating system and you have customizable options the options that you have is regarding windows i i5 i7 and also you have hard disk instead of hard disk we have here SD, ssds and there are different ssds there are 5 12 and also 1 tb 2 tb different uh, different sizes of ssds as per your requirement you can also customize that you can modify that and it comes very handy and you can simply plug it in into the slot that is provided in the back and once you plug it in into the 80 pin euro slot it's going to run like a charm and you can see that this ops is running in windows